Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's video. I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Bigood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from Normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope your day is going way better than fantastic. And your journey to self-betterment is going way better than fantastic as well. Today. I wanted to talk about something very important. Actually a topic that was sparked a subscriber's comment. And it basically was letting us know. That we need to be able to take our own advice. And know that at times we might not be able to see clearly for ourselves the same way we can see clearly for others. You see. Even when I was a kid. And way before I knew about narcissism. I could recognize and call out if someone else was being mistreated. Or if someone else was walking into danger. But for some reason. I just couldn't do it for myself. I mean. I was pretty darn accurate at calling out exactly what this toxic person would say and do to someone else. Way way before I even knew what narcissism was. But. For myself. I seemed to walk straight into the metaphoric meat grinder. I think a part of this goes to how many of us were raised by narcissists. You see I've mentioned these mind control studies that were very very real. That happened in the past. And who knows they might be happening now. Just no one talks about it. But in these mind control experiments. They were able to do many evil things to the subjects in order to get these subjects to behave in a certain way. And think in a certain way without knowing why they were behaving or thinking in this certain way. Many of us from our home of origin were repeatedly manipulated into debating our points with these demons. That maybe if we just talk to them this way or that way. They will finally see our points. And these individuals or demons have no desire to see our points. Heck they already know what our points are. They just want to drag us down this toxic journey of us spinning our wheels. And then after it's all done. They will pretend to care about us again. Only to take us down another toxic journey. You see in many of these mind control experiments. There was a building up or love bombing stage. They would call these people or subjects brilliant or smart. Or super capable. And they weren't doing this because this is what they thought of them. They were doing this to gain this person's trust and so they would feel attached to this person in a positive way. Then once this person that was running this evil experiment was convinced the subject in this test was extremely attached. The person running this experiment would then start to harshly devalue the test subject. To degrade them and to humiliate them. And one of the many things that was measured. Is how long this person continued to try. To try to prove their point to someone that cared less about them. Now this can happen to anyone. But. But if you were raised like this you can walk around blind to helping yourself and you won't even know why you are like this. Well. You were trained. You were conditioned. You were raised this way. And I think. We must exercise positive boundaries just like any other muscle. There was someone I was watching a while back. I totally forget their name. And it was how to respond to a question or mistreatment. Or someone that is asking something they shouldn't ask. Or someone that is saying something to you that they shouldn't say. And the great comeback they gave was. Instead of providing them an answer they don't deserve. But rather just say. Why would you want to know that kind of information for anyway. In a very stern. Almost disgusted tone. Or you can say. That's kind of a weird question to ask someone don't you think. Put it back on them. And this goes back having and developing a life. Look. Most people even if we might or might not be around a lot of people. Just people. Not all. But most people do enjoy positive company of others. 
but not all company is positive company. And we must understand that. But this is why having activities to go to that might not require you to be best friends with the people there. But. But you can enjoy the company of others for a few hours. And then you can leave that situation where it is. Such as joining a hobby group. Or as I mentioned before. Go and take a jujitsu class a couple of nights a week. So if someone in your personal life acts up in an unacceptable way. You won't feel so starved to be. Around them. Yes. Be happy with your own company. And I do think it's good to spend some time alone. But at the end of the day we are all people. And most. Not all. But most like to be around others and to spend time with them. Even if it's getting a coffee. Or hanging out with one another for an hour once every couple of weeks. And it's so easy to get drawn in by someone that we have fun with. We are thinking. Wow. What a nice person. And just like the e-experiment. It's all done to lure you in and to get you to attach. Because narcissists can sense when you don't have many people in your life. So they will try this tactic with you. Hoping you will put all of your eggs in their basket so to speak. And you will stick around for their hot and cold treatments. But let's say that happens. And you can throw it back on them. Wow. That's a weird question. And then change the subject. But then tomorrow you've got jujitsu class. Smiling people. Fun times. For a couple of hours. And you leave. Now if this is a person you. Met in jujitsu. Be friendly and nice but try to gravitate to others in the school. And refrain from bad talk about them. If they want to talk about you. Let them. If you are well liked. And you don't talk bad about anyone. And here's this person trying to attack your character. Soon enough others will see it. Usually in such a small small setting like that. That's what can happen. Not always but most of the time. Someone might come to you and say. Did you know so and so is saying this about you? Just reply. No I had no idea. And it's kind of unfortunate. And keep it there. No need to say more. No need to elaborate. No need no need no need. And if others believe it. Then leave. Cancel your membership and leave. There are other jujitsu schools in the world. Do not debate with demons. Do not get into back and forths and he said and she said. And that would be taking our own advice. But I believe it starts with small things. If someone asks you something. If someone says something to you that stings. That didn't make you feel good at all. What I would like us all to do. Me included. Is to sit and talk to ourselves for about 20 minutes. And hopefully come to the conclusion they said what they said because they wanted to say it. It wasn't by mistake. They knew it was hurtful and they said it anyways. Or they knew their question was out of bounds. The conclusion you should come up with is this person knew what they were doing. They knew it. And by hanging out with this person. You are constantly going to be taking self-esteem hits. And it's not worth it. It's not worth to debate with this person. It's not worth to confront them. Because likely that is what they want. But instead have a peaceful night's sleep. And go to your jujitsu. Or your karate. Or your painting class. Or your jazz dance class. I believe sometimes it's good to have places like this to go to. And keep the friends you make there. There. Unless you've really gotten to know someone over a long 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 period of time. And even then being super careful. Because. Places like these can make you feel like you have a fun place to go. Where you're not judged. And if you hit a rough patch with someone else in your life. You know. You have some place you can go where you can still feel good and you won't be overtaken by negative self-talk and painful mental and emotional feelings that might happen as a result. Because just like those that did these experiments to see how to break people. It was all mapped out and all planned out. 
and just like that self-aware narcissist that I mentioned the other day. She confirmed the same thing. It's all mapped out and planned out ahead of time. They know exactly what they are doing. So yes. If you have kids. Pass the knowledge of what toxic people are about. What narcissists and psychopaths are all about. But we must have tools in our toolbox to help ourselves as well. Because we can seriously have some blind spots when it comes to ourselves. And the first step to addressing them. Is to admit that we have these blind spots. With that said. Keep up the wonderful comments. I appreciate you all. You are all fantastic. With that said. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.